there. I'm going to do another test. I really want to test out these jump cuts that uh, I've been reading about on the internet. Because I don't think my last video did very good for what I was trying to accomplish. I'm just going to talk about random stuff, I guess. I kind of wanted to move this camera around a bit because uh, I kind of don't like the angle where it's at. But I'm probably going to end up putting it back down there anyway, like right now. I guess I can talk about this weekend. I went out to a bar. There's a bar here in Phoenix called Charlie's, and it's a pretty big gay bar. And um, it's pretty fun. Not like the best bar in the world. I mean, it's fun because it's big and that there is a lot of people that go there and it has an outside and it has after hours. So after 2 a.m. people stop drinking and they go for another two hours. And I don't think there's any other bars in Phoenix that do that, at least gay bars. I think there's one called Karamas that do that too, but I don't know if they're still open because we went there one time on a Tuesday night and nobody was there. So I think maybe it's closed. I could be wrong. So I went there. First of all, I I usually like when I go out and drink, I don't want to drink and drive, obviously. I take a bus to the light rail station and then the light rail actually goes all the way out to Charlie's on Camelback and Central. I went out there by myself. My friend who I've been wanting to hang out with for the last three weeks he had to work and so he got home really late and I don't think he really wanted to go but I convinced him I'm like you gotta go you know I wanted to hang out with you for three weeks so you have to go and plus when I got there there was a rodeo that happened earlier that day and so there was like scores of people there and there's so many people there and I I was cold um because of my bald head don't ever go bald, by the way, because you have to wear a hat to keep from being burned in the sun, and you have to wear a beanie to keep from freezing in the winter. Anyway, seriously, don't go bald. But I got there, and I was cold, and so I was kind of shaking, but I had this anxiety. And I've known people that get anxiety, and it's not something I've ever had, and I never understood it until that night. It's like, man, I'm just really nervous. There's so many people around me right now. And I love being in big crowds. But I guess the fact that I don't really go out that often, and especially to gay bars, um, it kind of made me really nervous. Plus, the fact that I was there by myself didn't help. I mean, I'm a pretty outgoing guy. But when I'm around a bunch of people I don't know, it's really hard for me. So I walked around. I convinced my friend to come. So I was waiting around for him, and I was walking around, and every once in a while, some guys would come up, and they would compliment me, and I like getting complimented, but I don't always believe these guys. Sometimes I think, oh, they're joking. You know, they must be joking. I mean, I'm getting pranked right now, you know. Usually, I'll just say thank you and keep walking, because I don't want to really get stuck with somebody, like, that I'm not interested in, and I don't want to get stuck with anybody specifically because I, I want to meet a bunch of different people that night, you know. I, I don't want to be stuck. And I want to dance. I hadn't gone out dancing so long, and I just, I need to get out a lot of energy. I guess I need to get out a lot of aggression, and dancing does that for me. Like, just totally getting into the music and just feeling it inside me, and just, like, just letting loose on the dance floor. And I'm a really good dancer. I... I would have people come up to me and, you know, they tell me just what they liked about me. I'm, I'm not going to say any of the compliments because they're kind of embarrassing to say. People were kind of crude, too. I guess gay people in general feel they need to say exactly what's on their mind all the time. And I, I do that. I say what's exactly on my mind, but I use tact. And I can be bold about things, but I think you need to be tactful about stuff. And some people aren't always. I don't know how to respond to that. So usually I'll just make a joke or, you know, thank them kindly and uh, be off on my way. Or I'll say, I'll, you know, I'll see you around. I'll talk to you later. And then this uh, group came up to me 
and they were talking to me and they asked if I was local they didn't think I was local I'm like no I'm from here I've been here my whole life I'm a Phoenician they said you can hang out with us all night and I was like cool you know and one of the guys he's like really attracted to me and he seemed nice but I, I you know I wasn't attracted to him and I have to be honest about that but I, I have a hard time doing that sometimes because I don't like to get let down I think you have to you have to be honest about that stuff because it'll drag on I, I can't got to the point where like I, I just you know I want to be friends with these guys because I didn't know anybody you know locally really who's gay or anything like that so like you know maybe you know I can be friends with these guys so I'll hang out with them and friends kept coming up to them and hugging them and you know and I was hanging out with them but I kept telling them you know I'm really boring I'm really boring I and the guys are like, oh, you just sit there and be boring. We you enjoy your company. <laughs> I'm like, are they lying? You know, they were drunk already a little bit, so that didn't help with the compliments because then I didn't believe them even more. And I had just got there, so you know, I had like a drink. I kept telling them my friends coming. You know, finally, he showed up, and we hung out, and I went my merry way. Hung out with my friend, just you know got drinks and went out on the dance floor and just danced our butts off. Guys kept coming up to us and trying to dance with us and I just, I don't know, I'm like there to meet people but I, I just wanted to dance alone. I just, I needed to get out all this aggression, you know, a lot of things I've been mad about lately and I just, good way to focus that is just to let it out through creative means and that's how I was going to do it that night. And I'm not really that attracted to that many guys like yeah, you can't help who you're attracted to and I, in my life I've been attracted to like a handful of guys and a handful of girls and not really there's people that they can sleep with anybody I'm not one of those people you know I have to have this emotional connection with you and I see that when I see you for the first time. So I'm okay with being alone and independent. Well, I'm not okay being alone, but I uh, I just know how I am. I know what makes me happy. There's, you know, if there's something I don't like about you, that, that comes across in your essence. Like I said, you can't help who you're attracted to. You just gotta deal with that. Like so this guy came up and started dancing with me, and I'm like, I just really want to dance alone, you know. Hi, what's your name? You know, oh, my name is Greg, and you know, and I just, you know, on my merry way and started dancing, and then my friend came over and I introduced him to him, and this guy was like so drunk, like he just started making out with my friend. <laughs> my friend's like, what's going on? He uh, he keeps bringing that up, like it's my fault. Like, I made this guy make out with him that he didn't want to make out with. The guy seemed like a nice guy, you know, and everything, but I knew my friend wasn't attracted to him at all. Uh, this girl kept coming up and danced with us, too, and she was, like, wasted, and she seemed really fun. <laughs> it was just a funny night, you know, because the place was packed. It was, like, shoulder to shoulder, and I had never seen that place like that before. But, you know, I kept going outside and smoke because yeah I still smoke <laughs> but I smoke non-additive cigarettes which actually I think is a big improvement from smoking like Marlboro's uh, which has like hundreds of different chemicals added to them as opposed to a natural plant like just tobacco and you can tell me all you want about that I'm all quit smoking when I want to quit smoking so I go outside to smoke every once in a while and it would be freezing and then I have to go back inside the, there's no point to anything I'm saying just basically telling you you know I had a fun night went out to eat at Denny's just went home after that and crashed I want to go out more often I don't get to do that a whole lot and I need to do that because I need to go out there and I need to meet people I need to meet people for friends and I need to meet people for love I'm not gonna do that sitting at home. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it.